Good evening, all. <laughs> it's Saturday, November the 21st of 2015. Oh, I fell asleep for most of the day, so it's like 8.30 at night. Doing this super late, but I did wake up to my loot crate. There's a little bit of poetry there for you. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this month's theme is combat. Um... I did look that up on the Facebook page because I forgot what it was. Um, there should be a pen in here that will inform me <laughs> exactly. And I see it right here in the corner of that Loot Crate, November 2015, Combat. So, yes, yes, the combat is correct. Okay, uh, I don't even know where to start here. A lot of little things in here. I guess I could put on my shredder mask because, as I do with certain things, I just have to. Of course, it takes a little bit of takes a little minute. Hold on, <gasps> I'm Superman. I'm not Superman. You don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about that. So let's take off this little annoying piece before it gets uh, annoying. And now I'm going to do this as Shredder. Okay, we also have in here a Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 2 uh, little pin, little lapel pin, or whatever. It doesn't say that's a Loot Crate exclusive. It does say it's only in cinemas. It's not only in cinemas, it's right here. Don't lie. Don't lie, Loot Crate. Had it with you. So, where's my book? Here is my book of the all the different uh, things that we have for today, the uh, the magazine and whatnot. So that's fun. I always like to show off the magazine because they do a pretty good uh, pretty good job of putting the putting the artworks on there. And uh, plus, it gives me a nice little thing to steal for my uh, thumbnail. Yep. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Okay, The Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. I don't know what this... Happy Holidays, Looter. At Loot Crate, we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we love you. So we have Loot Crate little gift tags in case you want to uh, regift some of your stuff that you don't want uh oh, these are all magnets. I thought they were stickers. But this is cute but deadly. Uh, I'm not totally sure if this is from... It says Blizzard Entertainment. I'm not totally sure. I'm, I'm assuming these are like from some game or something. Um, but they're cute but deadly is what it says. And they are cute. And probably deadly. Oh, poop. And uh, not very happy with me. Because of the drop down. Okay, let's see what else we should get into here. Um, those could be fun. We also have a Street Fighter Loot Crate exclusive uh, Hyper Lootin' comic book number one. For that, I just saw on their Facebook page um, the Star Wars number one was the... Oh, gosh, I can't even get behind this thing. <laughs> Boom! My forehead itched, so I had to scratch it, but it took a little, it took a minute to get back there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the Star Wars number one Loot Crate exclusive was, son of a bitch! <laughs> I need to do nothing else with my face until this video is over. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Star Wars <laughs> number one was one of the most popular things of the year. Uh, according to the thing on on uh, Facebook. We also have another one of these. You can get more at Hot Topic, Loot Crate, or gear.blizzard.com. Cute but deadly. It's another one of these things. Uh, there is one in here that is a Loot Crate exclusive. If you can get that one, it is a Loot Crate exclusive. And I'm not totally sure which one that is. But it's another one of these blind box thingies. So we'll pop it open here. For a moment. 
they're always taped so good that like not taped but I guess glued so good that it takes a second to rip them open so let's see what we got in here the bag's all pretty I don't know how much of that you can see all the different characters on them and then of course I have to find my notch which is down at the other end so let's see what we've got in our little blind bag here we have got uh, oh I guess I should be careful just to make sure he doesn't have any accessories in here that I'm about to ah see he has a little he has a little thing that you can sit him down on because I was about to I was watching somebody else's un unboxing once um, I think it was with this and he was just like tossing the bag away and I'm like no there's accessories in there what are you doing you crazy man um, we have this little guy whoever he is he's cute but deadly he is not the loot crate exclusive I'm guessing he is Zuratol oh I see he is Zuratol right there and see the loot crate exclusive is this guy but a different color I'm guessing and then of course oh there he is again he must be their most popular character because he's in there three times loot crate exclusive so I did not get the loot crate exclusive I got that guy but maybe if they give me a chance to try again in the future I shall try again so Zerath Zeratol, Zeratol. I still don't know what game or whatever these are from, but oh, I guess he's he's already got his little his little weapon in his hand there. But he does have he does have a little. And one day, if I ever get my shelf set up, yeah, one day. Imagine that. Never gonna happen. I'll have something to set him up on. Oh, there's part of the bag. <laughs> there's part of the box. Okay, and this is probably. I thought maybe this is. Um, Maybe it is a loot crate exclusive. It does say loot on the side. It does say loot crate on the side, but it is a bobblehead, a vault boy bobblehead. What does it say on the back? Each bobblehead is good for 10 skill points or one static point. Increase may not blah, 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 blah. Failure for this bobblehead to increase your stats is almost certainly your fault and cannot be held against vault tech or its subsidiaries. So you can't do it. You can't do it. Oh no, I have to open him too. So I have to slice him open without slicing my hand, preferably. But I'm the motherfucking Shredder, so I should be used to, like, picking my nose and scratching my own junk very carefully. Very carefully. Oh, he's, uh, he's censored. There's his dick! Okay. Pop this guy out. And ta-da! We have Vault Boy, Vault Tech, Bobblehead, which I will more than likely, of course, keep in the package. What did I do with his dick cover? There it is. Put back on his underwears and stick it in there. And of course, they have, I'm not totally sure exactly what this is supposed to be. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be more, oh, okay. Now it makes more sense. Now it makes more sense because it looks like a prison. It looks like a road and a prison inside this box here. So we go from the sewers, that's my belly, down the road to the, you know, to the expansive space. Spance, expansive spance of nothing. It's a very, it's a very hard road, but they're, they always have that uh, pretty artwork in here. I missed the Doctor Who. They have a special, uh, Loot Crate has a special Doctor Who uh, crate. It was it was $50, which sounds, I don't know, there's supposed to be like $80 worth of stuff in there, but still it's kind of like, I don't know if I should spend the $50. So I took some time to think about it, went back just a few hours later, gone sold out every single one of them uh they have a star wars one coming up but it's like a hundred bucks and i'm like oh yeah i'm kind of glad i'm not a star wars fan right now <laughs> but uh um yeah so i didn't get the the doctor who one but let me push up my boop those things uh, so that is our loot crate for this month uh galaxy is next month's crate they've already um 
they've already announced that. Um, and by the time we get my next loot crate, Advent Event 2015 is coming up in just a few days. Um, well, whenever December 1st is. I should have my Advent calendar by the 1st. It's a supposed to be in by the first, so we shall hope for that. Um, <laughs> expensive as hell. I bought a fancy ass. It looks like the, the um, Big Ben, but it was like 36 fucking dollars. I'm like, oh my god, but it'll go away. Really, I'm buying it more for the display than anything, because after it's done, I can be like, oh look, and just set it on my shelf. <laughs> the shelf that I've never bought. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so that's coming up um, here in a week or so. I don't know. I gotta survive Black Friday first, which actually isn't going to be bad this year, which is weird. But because there's like one sale at six o'clock p.m. or something, and then it's over, so it's not all the crazy wackiness. So I should survive Black Friday anyway. I was thinking there was something else. I was some other kind of announcement that I was gonna make, but I don't know what that is. So instead, I'm just going to say, um, until next month, either the Loot Crate or the Advent Event, whatever you join me for, I'll see you when I see you.